Welcome back. Let us now see how to solve the question number 18 on the Certified Kubernetes Administrator Killer Shell Exam Simulation. Question number 18, the task weight is 8 percentage. Let us use this command to switch to the right context. Now, the question says, there seems to be an issue with the kubelet not running on cluster 3-worker1. Fix it and confirm that the cluster has node cluster 3-worker1 available in ready state afterwards. You should be able to schedule a pod on cluster 3-worker1 afterwards. So they say there is a problem with the kubelet on one of these um, nodes. So first, let us execute kubectl get nodes. So we see two nodes are part of this cluster. So cluster three master one, which is the control plane node is in a ready state. Cluster three dash worker one uh, node, which is not ready. So let us SSH into the problematic node and see what's going on. So um, kubelet, runs as a process within the node. So let us use the ps command and check if the kubelet is running as a process. Um, there is nothing that is running at the moment. So let us, let us now probe the service uh, kubelet and check the status of this. Uh, in fact, that says the service is not active. It's kind of in activating or trying to auto restart. It's not active for some reason. And uh, it is managed, maintained. Uh, in this location. Now let's um, try and start the service. So service um, kubelet, let's try to restart. Let's check the status now. It has restarted, tried to restart it is because it's having a different process ID at this time than the one before. Uh, but still, it does not come up. Let's check the status once again. It's not coming up for some reason. So it says it's trying to run the process under user bin, user local bin kubelet with some uh, additional parameters. And it says it's exist exited and it's it's having some problem executing this so let's use this uh, start command to see if there is anything so there is no such file or directory um, let us now look into this config file Um, the file name is this one. So it is trying to execute this exec start, but for some reason it does 
we know that it's not able to execute because the, there's no such file with this name in the given location. Uh, what we can do is we can say where is kubelet because it's trying to execute the kubelet command. Let's see where it is located. So we see it is located in user bin kubelet, whereas it is trying to execute the same from user local bin kubelet. So there's um, it's trying to find it under the local uh, subdirectory. So this direct this is this is an incorrect location based on what we have found out so far. What we can do now is uh, we can open the cube config file. Uh, try and remove this or correct this path in the exec start command. Save this file. So obviously saving these changes uh, may not immediately take effect. So we need to use the system cuttle. Um, uh, daemon reload it will reload the daemon and then system cuttle um, restart the kubelet should have now um, restarted the reload reloaded the daemon restarted the kubelet now let's check the service service kubelet uh, status now as you can see it is active and running and uh, uh, it has you know uh, written some information on the logs so this seems to be working let's copy this because we needed to write the reason into this file uh, let us now come out of this. Let us go back to this terminal and see if the node has uh, come to a ready state. And you see that cluster three worker one is now in ready state. Uh, so let us now write the reason into this file. So let's say vi opt course 18 reason.txt. So we need not have to elaborate um, completely, uh, but just the essence of the problem. So we know that incorrect path set for kubelet as so there was a local folder here. Corrected the path. Path to this is the path. And where did we correct this? We have corrected this um, in this file. Incorrect path for kubelet set. Correct path for kubelet set in. Sorry. Set in this file. And what we have done is corrected the path to this one. So let's say this. Um, so now that the node is uh, in a ready state and we fixed the problem with the kubelet, um, so we have solved the question number 18. Uh, all right, uh, thanks for your time watching. I'll see you in the next question.